Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Media Truder, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Where last time, we had to create the world's ultimate super Brahmin. And on top of that, we met a rather interesting couple of newcomers to Concord, the Thompsons. And they gave me a rather interesting document. A list of mega beasts dotted around the Commonwealth, so... Okay, naturally, today, we're going hunting. Not least as there are a couple that do seem to be nice and nearby to each other, dotted up the northeast coast of Boston. So, okay, I think I know precisely what route we ought to take. Step one, back at base, let's just make sure we're, you know, in good condition if I'm about to go hunting some rather nasty beasties. And, of course, that includes weapons, so, okay, I think I've got just enough material on me to, uh, yeah, get the shotgun up to advance, so, 153, nice, very, very nice, in fact. Or I could move a combat rifle I found at random out in the world over to, uh, calibrated powerful. 86, but, I mean... It's just a solid all-round weapon, and to be honest, yeah, I just need something that uses a different ammo type. I'm running desperately low, so, uh, yeah, you know what? Calibrated powerful, we'll take that, and if we're lucky... Okay. It's not great, to be honest. I was hoping for glow sights or reflex, but no, I'm just shy of adhesive. So, just add that old girl to the favourites, and also, that's a good reminder that yes, I forgot to level up, would you cocking believe it? Oh, and isn't that just perfect timing when I was just saying, yeah, I need a tiny bit more power? Rifleman 4, perfect. Though thinking of it, I should definitely take chem resistor too, because I'm doing a lot of chems during this run. Okay, all that done, let's get a vertebra down on the ground and go have an adventure. Destination number one, we're going to check in with the Pridwen. Okay, good start to the day, no major trouble en route, so... Right, couple of things I want to pick up here. Here we go, more signal grenades, because yes, you don't want to run out by accident and thus have to walk all the way on foot back to the Pridwen. When you're running lower, you just want to come back here and top them up. That way you've always got access to a ride when you need it. And just as I was hoping for, yes, I hadn't actually properly looted the Pridwin's power armor beige yet, so as a result, there we go, I can get that bloody reflex sight I wanted. Okay, bright new day, lovely weather, now let's track down some monsters, because yes, unlike very often in Fallout 4, I'm not actually working towards, you know, a, a quest marker here. And this was added by the mod, so I don't really know what the correct solution is, but... I do have a feeling I know where I'm supposed to be going. Here we go, a behemoth roaming around East Boston. Not much over there but water, least I never found anything. Was camping in the police station once and thought I heard some noise over near the Cherry Bomb billboard. So, okay. East of Boston, far enough east in fact that it's flooded. Well, that's this bit of Boston, just north of the airport. And uh, there's definitely a police station just a tiny bit north of uh, the Pridwin in the airport. So uh, we'll start there and try and locate a cherry bomb billboard to uh, see if uh, maybe that's going to cause something to spawn in. So okay, straight past Robco Sales and Service. Obviously that's tied to Automaton. Now I'm pretty sure that, yeah, there's a school somewhere over in uh, this direction. But where precisely is the police station? It's somewhere in this flooded area. I just... Don't know, you know, uh, precisely well. Hang on. The compass is helping me out here. Right. Into the police station. Get to the high ground. Bare minimum. A high ground would be, you know, uh, useful. Just in general. Now, where precisely is this billboard that was just mentioned? Okay. I don't see a matching billboard. That's like comics and toys. That's Slocum Joe's. There's a variety of... Uh, yeah, cars around here. That's a red rocket. That's a car over there. Okay. Just going a little poke around on foot, I suppose. It's got to be somewhere around here. And yeah, it can't be like, you know, two hidden in the back streets because uh, it's a behemoth. They are by definition big. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I may have stumbled into a here. There's... Okay, there's a couple of billboards up there. I just saw... The boss being mentioned. Down a bit here. Just off the main road. Uh, 
So a tiny bit south of uh, the police station. Just be very careful. Okay. I need a sniping spot because behemoths do have a projectile. They can toss boulders. So, uh, right. Is there anywhere around here I can use to, you know, get up nice and high? Okay, I'm not seeing anything obvious, but what I am considering is, uh, yes. The boss is kind of like, you know, uh, down in a pit, in a way. If he wants to come and get me, he's going to have to, like, you know, uh, walk up this slope. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What if I, like, you know, uh, do this all smart-like? Right, just to get my frag mines out. Don't you mind me, buddy. We're just going to be tossing a very, very large number of mines about this bit of the world. And we just take one shot at your head. Honestly, no reason not to use, like, you know, all the cocking mines. And then you can just walk straight into this. Lovely. So, okay. We do this. We get into cover. And maybe, just maybe, this works. So, bang! Lovely, there's a good amount of damage. He still doesn't know precisely where I am. I've got some cars and whatnot to hide behind. Keep on keeping on, buddy. Keep on keeping on. Right in this direction. Right towards the mines. This is all looking good to me, if need be. Did he just walk around the mines? I feel like he just walked around the mines. But bare minimum. If we're lucky. He will still. Also now I found Jess. The sniping location. Good. Good, good, good. After ruling out sniping. I finally found like you know. A, a decent sniping location. Marvellous. Well done John. Rooftops. Everybody loves rooftops. Though. You know what I really need is. To draw him. Into the mines. So there's the mines. John, why didn't you tag him? You could have tagged him. You could have tagged him with the recon scope and then you'd know where he was. So okay, there he is. Now we've got him. I just need him to walk, you know, straight up the road. No trouble. No trouble at all. And once in the head. Good, 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 good. Now we're in danger. Now I want him to just come straight over in this direction. Straight to all of this. Lovely and... Okay. He's tossing. I mean, there's blood here. Was there blood here a second ago? Because I'm not sure there was, actually. Okay, he's definitely doing, like, you know, his uh, tossing boulder thing. This is where we want the rooftops. We can just pop out, hit him, fall back, and there we go. Not get hit. Beautiful. Though, I say that. Do they have drop-off or something? Because, oh, blimey, I'm definitely taking some sort of damage here. Like, possibly they've got, like, a splash. I'm not sure, you know. Buddy, I just want you uh, to walk into the... Okay, I'm going to need to go and bait him, aren't I? Why is he not walking? I think possibly he's got stuck on something. I'm not 100% sure, but if we're lucky... Okay, here we go, here we go. He's definitely walking in this direction. Also tossing rocks. If I've got this right, he should walk into the... Or he'll just stand there and be shot. Just all right, cover. And there we go. The mine's got the killer, right? My stupid plan did eventually work. Just nowhere near as elegantly as I was hoping for. So, right. Let's just grab you. That's not anything better than what I've got. Apparently, he killed a death claw. And also, apparently, he was writing a novel in his spare time. So, I think Jake and the Vault Dweller can really make a difference around here. Not a super mutant is a good day. Okay. It turns out Elias is here. This is preposterous. How dare you? If it wasn't for you barging in and blasting away like some trigger-happy teenager, that would have been my kill. Now, Daddy, you were still getting set up when all the shooting started. You really need to calm down. It's not good for your heart. What? No, well, uh, this is not over. Mark my words. You know what? I quite like Ruby. Ruby's a star, so, uh, okay. Next on the list, yes. Let's start moseying north. But, um, okay. The matron, she was up somewhere in this bit of the world, nearby to Salem, he said. Now, either that's the queen that's already there, just renamed, because uh, somewhere around here is Coastal Cottage, and I swear there's already a queen in the base game 
around that location. I swear down here, where I am right now, uh, there isn't normally a behemoth. So, uh, that suggests uh, maybe it's a different one. For the time being, though, uh, yeah, let's mosey north using the bridge nearby to the police station. Because there's one location I wouldn't mind checking in on while we're passing by. Here we go, just mosey straight past the radiation balls, making sure we don't get too close to them. They can be a bit radioactive and... Uh, yeah, just keep VAT scanning in this area because uh, for some reason I've always seen like, you know, a fair bit of chaos kicking off around here. Not like, you know, a full-on chaos junction levels of chaos, but still, uh, there does seem to be like, you know, a, a fair bit of uh, random stuff that occasionally just occurs. Okay, while we're passing by, just say hello and get the marker for County Crossing because... Uh, yeah, these guys probably won't give me a mission because I haven't actually technically turned in the one related to Abernathy to Preston Garvey. So you can't have too many missions at the same time. That's why these guys probably won't speak to me. Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. No, nope, just some generic platitudes from Garrus. So, okay. We'll need to pop back to you guys later, though. Fortunately, even though I'm not allied to you, they don't mind me, you know, having a nice drink of water while I'm passing by. Beautiful. So, okay. What they probably would tell me to do, if they were feeling talkative, is, hey, go and clear out the ghouls from, what's it called? The military facility literally right here on their doorstep. And uh, I am happy to do aforementioned thing. Because, yeah, ghouls are generally not too difficult to take out which means they're a good candidate for potentially giving you a good legendary drop or two. Okay, speak of the devil, we got some basics coming in here, who I can't seem to hit for some reason. Right, and we've also got basic Merc Jibbles at the back. Officially, I'm in danger, but I'm not too worried at the moment. Yeah, what I'm really looking for is the odd legendary, because... I can't remember which run it was, but I swear once upon a time, I had an amazing drop out of a ghoul in this building. So, I'm just going to work under the assumption that means this building is blessed and it will happen again today. It's okay. Until we activate the, yeah, sentry bot, if we were to choose to do said thing, we should be okay outside for now. Okay, in we come. A handful of a dead right here. That scan can, of course, detect them even when they're lying on the ground, meaning, yeah, if you're nice and sneaky, you can pick off plenty of them before they even wake up. And to be honest, yeah, weaker ones go for the silence weaponry. That way, we can take them out before they even know what's what. So, yeah, take you out without waking up any of your friends. No more there. Back over to combat rifles, so I've got a little bit more hitting power. All right, and oh... Hearing something, and also, I can't help but notice that, um, yes, I don't have a crit in a hand right now, which isn't ideal, and that was not good. Caution, but not danger. Good, 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 good. Uh, right, hide around the corner while we reload. That was a bit of an unnecessary reload. But here we go. This is why we do this. So, one, two, and in just a moment, you're going to be in trouble, buddy. And just enough AP to finish you off. Lovely. And we've already got one legendary in the bag. And definitely more to come yet. Crack them open because, yes, it isn't just legendaries in here. This is a military facility, meaning, yeah, the skill magazine is a sneak one. And sneaking is arguably one of the best in the game for the simple reason that, okay. Nimble hunting. That's interesting. I mean, right now I'm using, you know, a variant of hunting rifle, my recon scope sniper, that does literally nothing. I mean, I may as well take the mods and transfer them over. There's no reason not to. Oh, I also just started the Lost Patrol by mistake. Sorry, I completely forgot you guys were here. But yes, you guys are here too. And yes, unless I'm forgetting something, that should be about it here. This first building is uh, very small. It's the larger building nearby. But yeah, has got a fair whack more going on. This is just the introduction. So uh, grab the passcode, uh, crack that into the terminal right here, and that lets us move over to building number two. Okay, just a mosey out here. Yep, you guys uh, spawn it in. You're not there if you look through the windows uh, from the outside. So just take you out. Nice, easy XP. I won't say no to one to glue either. Beautiful. 
Alright. Eyes open. And go over to combat rifle. The moment anything gets. Hello over there. Don't worry. Don't worry. Fallout 4 Reaver. Not Fallout 3 Reaver. Yeah, if you get lucky, you might be able to see one or two of them through broken walls, etc, etc. For now, though. There we go. You can go down nice and easy. If that hadn't been a sneak attack, that wouldn't have been a kill, though. So, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Chill out. Chill out, please. And you know what? Manual. Safer. For you. Back to hit him. For now. We're okay. And you're just a basic roamer. And I do not have a crit in a hand. Don't forget that. That's very, very useful indeed. So, okay. Good start. Good, solid start here. Ah, yes, and speak of the devil. Enemies we can take out before they even see us. Hang on, how obstructed are you? I can hit you in the leg at least, and yeah, there we go. Legendary Reaver. Alright, keep on keeping on. We've got another legendary in the can. Right there. Not bad. Not bad at all. This is going very smooth, and... Say that, you are sounding very nearby. Did I just spawn the one in the bathroom? Because I'm like one floor above and uh, Sentinel's Baton. Sentinel's could be hilarious, but on a baton, no, I don't think so. Also, John, 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 John. They appear to be coming for you right about now. So, like, you know, maybe, just maybe. Also, I'm overweight. You really don't need the baton, John. Just put it down and go over to... Yes, you're good at shotgun. Because I think I just saw... Oh, I definitely just saw... No, 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 and more no. Right, you don't have legs anymore. I think you don't have legs. Never mind, you do have legs. You do have legs. Sorry, I thought you didn't have... No, he doesn't have legs. Okay, this has gone from, you know, sneaky to shoot everything with shotgun relatively quickly, I'll admit. But that's absolutely fine. Back over to silenced weaponry. Anytime you're ready there, lovely. And back to hidden. Okay, we recovered. A slightly messy moment, but we recovered nicely, okay? Okay, this all seems pretty calm for the minute. I'm hearing something else over there. Drop and hello over there. Buddy, take you up before you know what's going on. Okay. Lower floor. And there she is. Operations manual right there. So, okay. Right. Just to finish off of the ones that exist in the toilet. And right. You've been legendary before. I don't know if you're guaranteed legendary. But I've seen a legendary crawling out of that particular stall in the past. And uh, I think I've got a staggering combat rifle from you in the past. So... Violent, calibrated, powerful radium. The problem with radium rifles is uh, a lot of enemies are completely resistant to rad damage. So uh, it's just not a good damage type, damn it. And on top of that, it's sharing an ammo type with, you know, uh, the far more reliable combat rifle. Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. You don't get to stay. So, okay, that's all we've got here because the end of the dungeon is just, just a terminal that lets you open up the back shed, but that just leads to a confrontation with a sentry bot. And I've decided I don't want to do that. Okay, next up I need to, uh, yes, return to the cannery and the lighthouse beyond it to get back to the coast. Going north uh, via Finch Farm or south via Revere. Revere is, yeah, a bit of a wild one because... Uh, the Brotherhood are guaranteed uh, to come in and assist, I'm pretty sure. But the downside is uh, there's definitely a mutant with a missile launcher somewhere up top. So, you know, he can potentially cause uh, a lot of trouble if he feels like it. And in fact, I'm pretty sure... There's our chappy. There he is. I'm not even in that strange of him. He's not going to detect me. Probably. I say that. Something's very nearby to detecting me. But there's also like, you know, various creatures in this bit of the world. So just take you out too. That was probably you. You guys have got dogs. And that's a butcher. 
And there's also, hang on. There's the Brotherhood. Good, 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 good. That's going to be a lovely distraction. If I could shoot that guy in the head and follow it up with a crit, I'd be pretty confident the sneak attack and the crit together. In fact, you know what? Ooh. I'm going to wait for a good shot. Do it by hand. And hang about. You're also coming down in this direction. Wait, wait, wait. Just... Okay. So he's now firing. The Brotherhood are definitely coming in too. I'm a hidden though. So I should still be able to like, you know, get myself a lovely, lovely sneak attack and... Okay, so um... Today... As it turns out, the Brotherhoods will not be offering a huge amount of assistance. They've been a little bit like, you know, unlucky though. You, sir, appear to now be armed with a sledgehammer. Did you, for some reason, drop your missile launcher? Because if so, that would be great. Okay, you know what? Just for safety. One in the back. And then... What are you armed with, buddy? What are you armed with? Because... He's armed with an invisible gun. I'm just going to crit you in the head. Because I don't know... Never mind, the invisible gun was unfortunately like... A silenced something or another. So I don't know where the missile launcher is. Which is actually scarier. Because that means like... Someone else could have gone for it also. Oh dear. I feel like there's about to be trouble over in that direction. No, 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 no. Basic super mutant. You're melee. You're... Are you both melee? Uh-oh. Hang on. There's definitely... There's definitely... Hang on. Some, someone's shooting me with a gun. Someone's got a gun. Does anyone know who's got the gun? Well, you're both melee, which means you're both stupid losers and you're both going to die. Okay. Danger. But if I just, you know, hide behind this tree for a second... They'll probably lose interest. Now they don't have line of sight. There we go. That's better. One a brute. Okay. The brute knows I'm a here. That's that's absolutely fine. I say the brute knows I'm a here, and that's absolutely fine. How fine is it? You know what? I feel like I am more accurate than he is right now. There we go. He goes down. There's definitely. There's definitely more people firing. I can't even cocky see you, buddy. But you know what? I've got the more accurate gun. Screw. There's definitely still more trouble. There we go. There's more people with more guns. But okay. My new guns are doing the job. Even without, you know, brotherhood assistance. Lovely. Now the problem is. There's definitely still something alive in here. And I don't know who or what it is. So, okay, just a mosey in. Nice and quick. Maybe just get in, grab the magazine, and get out. The problem with aforementioned plan being... It's up one of the, like, you know, towers. I can't remember which cocking one. I mean, I think it's in a shack, which would suggest maybe that one, but... Oh, I don't bloody know. Well, that's just perfect, isn't it? Oh, you had the missile launcher. Good. Good, good, good. You just decided not to use it for some reason. And also, hang about. I just saw movement in that shack. I'm sure of it. I think there is. Yes. Hi, buddy. I see you. Rather, I don't. The recon scope does not. Right, we know where you are. That shack over there, just to be careful, be calm, be quiet. He probably won't detect me. It's not that one. Seriously, I'm just going tower to tower because I can't cocky remember where the skill magazine is. It's probably in the one with the one remaining super mutant, isn't it? Oh, never mind. It was the middle one. Bingo. The one I did right there. So, right. That's a second skill magazine right there. Crack you open while I'm passing by, buddy. Lovely. And... Good. Okay, nothing useful, but still. Tiny bit of XP, not gonna say no. Oh, blimey, you're a legendary. Which makes me want to kill you. But I shouldn't, because you're a legendary butcher, and legendary butchers are scary. So, 
Okay. If we just let Kinoa rush him with some psycho jets and the combat rifle, that should be fine. Right? Probably right. Okay, just nice and calm. Nice and sneaky. We're going to be right on top of him. And then we can just yeah, do a full that round right into him. And... Hello there, buddy. If we're lucky, that's only three. That's not even... A, oh, this was... This was a mistake. This was a mistake. This was... Right. Psycho Jet. It's Psycho Jet time. Let's just manipulate time in order to, like, you know, suit my needs better. One dose of that Psycho Jet. And bang, 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 bang. Down you go. And acrobats can be hilarious under the right circumstances. So uh, we're going to take that. Why not? And beyond that, okay, we're now probably over capacity. And, uh, okay, I didn't mean to, like, you know, do this entire mission. The whole chase down the distress signal thing. I'm kind of just doing it by accident. Okay, that done. Just to keep on a keeping on. A mosey to the east and see what we've got here. Because my brain's saying, I know there's going to be like, you know, my look sooner or later. But I swear, there can also be like, you know, raiders in this bit of the world. So, uh, hello. Random raider psycho. Probably just killed by the mutant, so don't worry about that. Okay. I'm going to... Skirt around this street here. And round the back here. Because all I want to do is get too detected. Just a Mr. Handy. Just a chill Mr. Handy. No trouble. And one surprisingly chill blood bug. Okay, check you out. And good, you weren't allied to the blood bug for some baffling Bethesda reason. You're never cocking, no. Right. And... Okay, also, additional blood bugs, including red widows, who are not, not, not nothing. Not nothing. And just take you out and... Okay, the handy's taking on somebody. Is it me? Or is it the... It is not me. Good, 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 good. Right, just... I love blood bugs. Can be mean. It's just like, you know... Don't like them. They're creepy. Right, just... Hello, Saxe. Right, just take you out and... Right, you immediately regenerated. I thought I was definitely going to get a kill there, but all right, fine. Just let you come to me. Can you even fly over water? I don't think you can, you know. Hello over there. Don't don't mind me. Don't mind... I'm probably drawing a lot of attention in this direction. That was definitely a hit. Okay, there's a legendary just flying away from me right now. Just take you out and... Hang on. You, sir... You're right by Finch Farm, aren't you? The one location I was basically trying to... I just fell in the water. Right, didn't mean to fall in the water. Get out of the water. Hello there, buddy. Don't mind me. Okay, please just die. You're being a highly inconvenient... Like, you are being really weirdly tough to kill. And seriously, what the cock is going on here? Right, just get to here and you're way up there. And no, no, no. Please just die. Please just... Please just die. Please just... There we go. That was... Weirdly complicated. Right, you were strangely hard to kill. That means you owe me something good. And... Okay. You also just sort of cease to exist. No, come back. C come back. Come come back. Hunters. Well, obviously. Cocking hunters. Dear oh flipping dear. Okay, bare minimum. I did just pick up a level up though. So... Okay. Like I was just saying. Unless there's anything really compelling here... I'm going to say chem resistant would be a very good idea. I mean, Sneak 4 is pretty nice, but I feel like, yes, I'm stealthy enough already. I don't need to be rushing that, to be honest. So uh, let's just, you know, make my psycho jet usage official. Okay, that done. We've made it back to the coast now. Uh, yeah, it's just a handful of mile lurks along this beach and whatnot. But while they're still uh, hidden underground, vats can detect them. That shouldn't be the biggest problem in the world. Speaking of which, hello there, buddy. Right. Take you out. That was a basic job. If a basic can take that many shots, then yeah, you're actually going to have to be like, you know, aiming or something. Gibson Point Pier. 
Nothing too dramatic, but there's definitely more hang about, hang about, hang about, hang about, hang about. That's a kill claw. But straight in the face means you're going to be in no trouble, right? Down you go. Where's your friend? Someone else has uh, hatched. And razor claw. I think that's below kill claw, actually. Well, it probably is because you just died in one hit. Okay. Advanced guns are plenty of adrenaline. Yeah. I am now a nasty killing machine for the time being, which is good. I kind of want to, you know, keep that right up to the hang about, hang about, hang about, hang about, hang about. Well, something's alive. Low. To here. Just a basic. Leave it be. No need to cause trouble. So, okay. Just to clamber up at the car. It's a bit fiddly, but it should be doable if you just have a jumper. There we go. Right. So now we should be, yeah, basically back at, yep, there it is. The lighthouse and the cannery. So, okay, just to watch out for any trouble in this bit of the world. But we should be a-okay. That's just an eye bot. No trouble. Okay. Life is looking good right now. Let's mosey back up to the lighthouse because, uh, okay. I want to keep, like, you know, most of my adrenaline. But I wouldn't object to putting down, like, you know, just a safety save. Because if I only sleep for, like, you know, an hour, maybe I'll lose, like, 5%. But I feel like I should definitely have, like, you know, a save down before we go into Salem proper. Oh, and I tell you what, just thinking about it, there is, like, you know, a handful of uh, laser tripwires here. Now, uh, I've definitely already, like, you know, uh, broken a few laser tripwires apart. Which does make me wonder, could I maybe have enough goods here to, like, you know, uh, set up a recruitment beacon to start bringing in my first people? Gosh darn it, no. Okay, this is still a good place to rest because, yeah, it's night at this point and, John, you just said uh, you didn't want to, like, you know, uh, potentially uh, have to lose all your adrenaline if you're going to go up against a queen momentarily. So, uh, okay, what we're going to do instead is, yes, we're going to wait out the night, not sleep, but wait because... I think, yeah, waiting because it doesn't save uh, won't cost me adrenaline, right? Yep, following morning, just sitting on the couch doing precisely nothing, so I don't have a save, uh, but I've not given up any adrenaline. So in which case, okay, hunger and thirst we can deal with nice and easy. And then I drop down a single hour to drop the save, and ideally, gosh darn it, I immediately get ill. That's fine, and we've got antibiotics, all that does is make you thirsty, I'm literally standing by water right now. And now we plan a route because, okay, based on what I saw last time with, you know, uh, clearing out the Children of Atom from the lighthouse, I don't really want to go and make trouble with Crater House. There's not really much there, so uh, better bet would be mostly just a tiny bit to the west and then loop up to uh, Museum of Witchcraft. Salem itself is on this tiny peninsula here. Then there's a long coast going up towards a uh, coastal cottage uh, there's the fish packing plant, and then just beyond the edge of the world, uh, there's, yeah, the boat out to Far Harbour. So, uh, if I had to guess, yeah, our matron is going to be somewhere along this coastline. And to confirm, uh, yeah, even a single hour of sleep cost me 10% of adrenaline. Dear old flipping dear. Oh, I tell you what, though, do not forget various nuke mines just dotted around because yeah children of atom are like really 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 big kabooms so okay i may have already burnt like you know uh, many of my mines but i've still got the biggest ones of all so i may not have a fat man to take on this particular queen but i do have fat mines which is kind of exciting potentially also you know what i think you are buddy can go down nice and easy. Good, 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 good. Just there's no trouble with you uh, down the line. Uh, and okay, that gets me to the crossroads. So fine. The coast around to the left here. Salem to the right. And uh, there is one building I wouldn't mind saying a hello to uh, while we pass by. Retrieve the key from the front desk attendant. Okay, I think I've stumbled across, like, you know, 
a tiny, tiny submission pertaining to the exact building I wanted to go to, the Sandy Shores Convalescence Home. Sorry, Coves. Sandy Coves Convalescent Home. So, right. Right, 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 right. All we need to do is mosey in and help myself to a lovely, lovely skill magazine. And uh, I'm trying to remember which one. I can't remember. But there's going to be like, you know, a handful of a lovely, lovely Institute robots has come in when we do this. But the Institute is never that tough. Their weapons just don't do the job. I do enjoy this place, by the way. How you can go into every room and just figure out, you know, what each of the residents was into based on the decorations. It's very cute. Oh, and you know what? Life is getting better and better. I was just here for a skill magazine, but 11 frag grenades. And on top of that, okay, a sniper rifle that's already all the way up to the 50 caliber receiver. Now, uh, that's something I can't make yet. I'm pretty sure you need gun nut 4 for that. So, uh, okay, the question is, how am I going to get this? And the nimble, and you know what? Screw the nimble. This is more important than nimble. Although, speaking of which, what's even the point of a yeah, my recon powerful sniper rifle? Aside from the fact, you know, it's got the recon scope on it. This is just better in every way, right? Excluding the fact that right now you literally can't use it, John, because you don't have the ammo. So you kind of still need the sniper rifle to not die to the giant boss queen. You're going to be taking on in... Oh, this is going to be tricky. Okay. I feel like, yes, we take you, we leave Nimble behind, and bloody hell, this is going to take some fiddling around to get done, especially because I want the grenades. Okay, I figured out the problem. I'm carrying a ridiculous amount of food right now. So, okay, John, just eat the grilled rad stag to get the bonus carry capacity. It's going to be fine. Ah, more visitors. Welcome to Sandy Cove's convalescent home. Movement detected. Yes. Alright, it would appear that our friends have appeared, but that's all absolutely fine. Because yeah, we should be able to get some nice easy shots through here. There we go. There's one dead immediately. We've taken out one. Problem is, yes, I don't know where they are. So okay, they're probably here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh no, 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 no. No. What did I just John? This is the moment for more psycho jet. There's a lot of them, and now you don't know precisely how many. This here, this is why, you know, you take the drug-related perks. So, no, 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 no. Right, probably some more. Yeah, we're definitely still in a tiny bit of danger. But yeah, the guns just don't hit that hard. They're just not that dangerous and take you out too. You're coming in with a melee and down you go. Nice and simple, lovely. Also, hilariously, I just remembered, yes, the entire thing I wanted in the first place, the magazine... It's right by the front desk if you just crack open the terminal. Bingo. So as a result of that, yes, I didn't actually need to fight those guys at all. But bare minimum, I do get, you know what, the antibiotics, that's good. Uh, and the stuff that was upstairs was pretty bloody amazing too. So I'm a-okay with this. And also, I hang about, hang about, hang about. Yes, chemistry station. I could do with some more psycho jets, please. Thank you very, very much indeed. Okay. Back outside, that's Coastal Cottage up there, which makes me think, yeah, there's a queen up on the high ground. But, is she my actual target or not? Bare minimum. Alright, just put a bit of damage onto you, buddy. Finish you off right now. Whatever's going on. It's not right here, at least. I can't deny, though, what's mainly worrying me is, uh, yeah... The limits in cover around here. There's like no cover at all. And when the queen wakes up and starts, you know, uh, spitting all that lovely, lovely acid at you, uh, you want to be hiding behind something. Like, you know, tanking that is not an option. You will die. So, uh, okay. Just be on the look, see, for, yes, bare minimum. We know. Oh, oh, hang on. I think we found the matron, and I think I should start running, because I do not want to be- Nope, 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 okay, just, just, just run, just run, just run, and change direction a fair bit, just do not stop running, get into cover, okay, this is cover, 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 let her lose interest, caution, but she knows where I was recently. 
She is now no. 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 No, no, no. She's investigating. She's investigating. Tag her. Can we tag her? We can use Okay, we can tag her. Okay, she, she knows where she knows. Oh, you know why she knows where we are? Because what just cooking happened was... Okay, John, 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 John. I went deep enough into the water that I wasn't crouching anymore, meaning she immediately detected me. What we're going to do is we're going to stim pack, and then we're going to run into Salem proper. Okay, that's what we're going to do. She's now way over there. She's lost me. I'm not sure whether or not she's got, like, you know, a certain amount of uh, roaming range. Okay. So, we now know where the matron is. Question is, how do we approach her? Because, okay, 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 okay. I need to... I'd say fight her on this side. I'd say, yeah, actually, by accident, luring her over here has been good. Because that means, uh, yeah, I can use the city streets to my advantage. I can get through, you know, uh, tight back alleys. Uh, she can't. Okay, hang about. One of the, uh, yeah, houses right by the water has got a balcony that overlooks where the matron is hanging out. Now, I don't know what the range on her acid spit is, but... Bare minimum. This has got to get her attention. Yeah, that's right. Just watch out to make sure she's not doing anything. I don't think she can get to me, actually. Can she even... Oh, she's moving. She's trying to move. She's trying to... She's trying to move in this direction. Oh, she... Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. I was kind of hoping she might be, uh... Might be a bit stuck. But I feel like she's... She's definitely coming. Oh, yeah. She, she's on her way. She's on her way now. But we could get a couple of... Oh, she's spitting the acid. Time to go. 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 Right. Time to change location. She's moving in towards town. Okay, yeah. She could spit as far as that balcony. Because that acid was the same acid. Okay. Now... It's time to loop around and use a Barney's uh, various defences uh, to my advantage. She is coming into town. Okay. She's almost here. I can hear her. Fighting her in town uh, works for me. Just need to find the right... Well, that's just lovely, isn't it? A random fat man. And come on, buddy. Where are you? Where are you? I see. Okay, you know what? There's a potentially good little balcony here we can... Never mind, just fell off, just fell off, just fell off. But, tell you what, a couple of shots right up the arse for you. You can't fit through here, can ya? You shouldn't have fought me in a cocky town. You've made a mistake. There's a couple of easy shots. I'm pretty sure we just crippled a leg or whatnot. How's she doing? I don't think she could get to me. I think she's in trouble right now. She's good on the beaches, but if I could just lure her around to Salem... Okay. She's angry, and I don't really want to. I'm pretty sure... Hang on, she is. Let's just check where we are. Oh, you are in a lot of trouble, and down you cocky go. Right, and I'm guessing... There we go. I figured you were about to warp into existence. Hi. Right. That does it. This is unacceptable. This goes totally against the Hunter's Code. Okay, Daddy. Let's take this down a peg or two, shall we? You're all steamed up because you hadn't figured out how to lure her out. I wasn't. Well, maybe. I don't know. It's just not fair and not right. Okay, so apparently I have the option to quip somehow or another. What did I win exactly? <laughs> well... You sure showed that Meyer Lurk who's top dog around here. Poor daddy. I just don't think his heart is in it anymore. Well, we better be off to see a man about a rifle. See you later. I do enjoy how Ruby just became one with the queen dead. That was marvelous. So, uh, right, how myself to ammo. Yet more meat. I do not need that much meat, but whatever. And uh, honestly, the rest of it I could do without. So, okay. We have successfully killed... Uh, Two of the creatures. Now, the problem I've got is, uh, yeah, the other one. It can't have been the Deathclaw, who was located at, yeah, Robotics Pioneer. Otherwise, I would have already got all of them. So, uh, that means, yeah, the edge of the glowing sea, which is what the note says, uh, that could basically be anywhere along this direction. It could be a huge number of potential locations. It's just, oh, hang on. 
John. When it says the outskirts of the glowing sea, the game does literally have a marker called the edge of the glowing sea. I think it's like, you know, uh, just a tiny bit south of a robotics pioneer. So uh, if that's like, you know, the game's uh, official edge of the glowing sea, that would suggest that potentially it's going to be somewhere close by to that. And uh, if it's close by to that, that means it's close by to the marina. So, uh, okay. Having killed two named mega bosses, how about we call it apart there? But next time, I think I know precisely what we need to do. We're going back to the marina, checking out how that place is growing, and uh, you know what? Next week, it will be almost Christmas. So I'd say we ought to decorate the place too. And once we're nice and rested up, okay. It's time to humiliate Old Man Thompson one last time by nipping into the glowing sea and finding the ultimate Alpha Death Claw. So hopefully you join me next week for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.